one. So today we are going to learn the start and delta connections. There are two ways of connecting resistance. One is called as star. So star will be resembles like this. You have three limbs. So this is R, Y, B, and this axis and neutral. And we have the next way of representing the resistance, which is nothing but delta. Delta also will have two terminals, and each terminal is connected at each other like this. Okay. So this is how to connect the three resistors. So this way of connection is called as a star connection. This way of connection is called as a ray delta connection so we need to learn in the circuits so how to convert a star to delta and how to convert a delta to star and we learn some basic uh, problems on this conversion and how to convert a star to delta if it is like equal resistance are there how the value is multiplied three times and how the value is divided by three times when you convert a delta network into star. So we try to, it's a very important uh, problem with respect to gate. So if star, all branches are of equal value, or is equivalent value with respect to delta, it is scaled by three times. For example, let us try to do some problems, you can have better experience. So let us try to solve our, let's try to learn the first conversion. Let's try to take a delta network now, so I'm having three terminals. I'm marking the terminals now like this one, two, three. And for our convenience, I'm marking this as x, y, z, and the given values are r1, r2, r3. Now we are learning how to convert a delta network into an star network delta network into a star network so these connections in practical are used for connecting the transformers so transformer primary may be connected in star and second may be connected in delta as per the requirement sometimes primary may be connected in distribution transformer primary may be connected in delta and output may be connected in star why we require the neutral this is employed in distribution transformers or we use at distribution systems also okay this for basic information let's try to convert this you see that we need to convert this delta to star so here you have the delta so i want this element center element i want this center element i want this center element your center element i'm labeling it as a neutral so I'm going to redraw the network in the required fashion. So three black terminals are labeled. So this is one in the center. I'm calling it as neutral, and this is one branch, and this is another branch. So I'm going to relabel this as per my convenience of understanding as Rx. This is some Ry. This is some Rz. So now I want to find the value of rx and i want to find the value of ry i want to find the value of rz you see here rx we need to find it rx element is connected between which two known terminals r1 and r3 so these are known to us so this value is known this value is known and this is known so r1 rx if you want to find out it is connected between r1 and r3 so that's how we are writing the the value of r x is equal to it is connected in center and r x is connected between which two elements r1 and r3 so just write down r1 into r3 divided by r1 add the sum of remaining resistors this is nothing but r1 plus r2 plus r3 so then you will get this value so coming to this branch so you can see this branch is connected between these two only. So red color are known to us. We need to find the black color one. So this black color one, which is nothing but this branch Ry, 
is connected between these two red which are known to us which is nothing but r1 and r2 so i'm writing this as r1 r2 divided by so what are known to us r1 plus sum of registers which are known to us 3 okay this is how to find r1 r2 and we need to find this rz sir how to write down rz rz you see here is the branch rz this is the branch rz connected and this is black color is not known it is connected between the red which are known which is nothing but r2 it is connected you see here this is connected between these two red terminals which are in red color so this is r2 this is r3 so i'm going to write down it as a the product of r2 into r3 divided by the sum of resistors so r1 plus r2 plus r3 this is how to find out the values of no? rx ry rz so we had been successfully converted in given delta network into an star network with these values so now let's try to take in the reverse engineering so now let's try to convert the next conversion which today we'll try to learn the next conversion we have is one two three what is known to us r x is known to us r y is known to us and r z is known to us we are now converting the star network to delta network so the above one is nothing but conversion of delta to star okay so just remember all these values which are there in right hand side are known to us and we are finding the values which are unknown to us okay so r1 r2 r3 are known to us what we are finding rx ry rj which are unknown to us okay that's what have to have a minimum knowledge while solving the problem so this is an red color one is given to us we need to find out the black color one okay so i'm going to draw the black color network so this is a conversion of star to delta so now how i'm how i'm going to draw this one this is one one and this one is the second one and this is the third branch so here like this we are going to have three branches and i'm labeling this as a r1 and i'm labeling this as a sum r3 and i'm labeling this as r2 you see here now we want to find out the value of r1 sir how to find out this is called this black color element we need to find out you see this black color element is connected between which two elements is connected between this element and this element what is the name of this element which is nothing but r x okay so we are finding out the element r1 this black color element you see this black color element is connected between these two red color branches these two red color branches only so i'm writing this r1 as generally how to write down is how to write down product of mutual product of mutual distance of okay what is mutual distance product r1 rx ry plus next ry rz ry rz what is next mutual distance product rz rx r z rx divided by which value you are finding out r1 which is 90 degrees to this so with this what is 90 degrees to this one we are getting it as r z you see here r z r z will cancel r z r z will cancel and we are going to get the resultant formula as r x plus r y plus product of these two which is nothing but r x r y divided by r z hope this very 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 simplified now so this black color resistance i am going to find out means we just identified just remember the formula like this we want to find this black color resistor it is connected between r x and r y so this is r x first you have to write down addition first element r x or second element connected r y and mutual product of these two which is nothing but r x into r y divided by for this branch which is there in 90 degrees okay you see this branch which is there in 90 degrees this is nothing but r z 
Now, similarly, let's try to find out how to find the value of R2. How to find the value of R2, which is nothing but this black color one we want to find out. So, how to find this black color one? This black color one is connected between these two red. So, how to write down? So, this side I can write down it as Ry plus Rz plus Ry into R. Z. So for this, okay, R Y into R Z. What is 90 degrees to this one? You said this register, which is 90 degrees is what? R X divided by R X. So then we find out this unknown branch, and we have find out this unknown branch. Now let's try to find out the next unknown branch, which is nothing but R three. Now how to find out R three? R3 is equal to this black color one we want. This black color one is connected between the two red color one. What are the two red color one? Rx and Rz. So I am writing first element is Rx plus next element is Rz plus the mutual product of these two. What is the mutual product of R these two? Rx into Rz divided by what is the with respect to R3? Which is connected 90 degrees, which is nothing but R Y. Okay, you see here uh, R1, R2, R3 are unknowns. What is given to us? What is given to us? R X, R Y, R Z are known. So the right side parameters are known to us. The left side parameters are unknown to us that's why we find out by using this conversion which is called star to delta conversion so this is what you have to remember let us try to solve an problem for more clarity just remember the concepts again if you want to i'm saying in shortcut if you want to find out this center element which is nothing but conversion of delta to star center element you are finding rx can be find out what are the two resistance which are connected in parallel to, which are connected to this uh, rx r1 into so first one is r1 into r3 divided by r1 plus r2 plus r3 that's all coming to the next conversion so we need to find out a uh, star is given to us okay red color star is given to us and we want to find out the black color delta so how to find out r1 r1 can be find out so you see this r1 is connected between two known red color one which is nothing but rx plus ry plus rx mutual product rx into ry divided by rz now let's try to employ the same here so let us try to consider the problem so i'm taking an conversion of a star to star to delta network with equal branch resistances if the branch has having equal resistance then how to solve it and this is very important conversion with respect to gate so the given network to us is like this So the given I am labeling this as node 1, node 2 and node 3. So we need to convert this, the given values are 2 ohm, 2 ohm, 2 ohm. You can see here the given is a star network with equal branch resistance. So we need to convert this into delta. This conversion I am going to draw with the red color. So now I require this red color values are in required in each form delta form that required delta i am writing drawing like this one two three and draw this unknown distance one
so this is unknown we need to and this is one this is second one and this is another one so we need to find out this value of resistors okay so how to find out this unknown resistor you see this red color is connected between these two so how they are connected between these two it is connected then what is the formula how to write down so this i can write down so 2 plus 2 plus mutual product 2 into 2 divided by this resistor i require what is the resistor which 90 degrees to this one is 2 so 2 2 will get cancelled and you are going to get 6 ohm so how to find out this red color one okay so this red color one we need to find out what are known to us these two black are given and this red color one is connected between these two blacks so what is the first element given to us 2 ohm plus what is the next element given to us 2 ohm plus we have to write down mutual product what is the mutual product 2 into 2 divided by 2 this red color what is 90 degrees black color resistor connected 2 so 2 2 will get cancelled and you are going to get uh, once again this as uh, some 6 ohm and similarly let us try to find out this unknown resistor so this is what we need to find out to this is the unknown and what are known this 2 ohms is known this 2 ohms is known and this 2 ohms is known so to this red these two are connected so i am writing it as 2 plus 2 plus and mutual product on this 2 2 into 2 divided by so to this red color resistor what is 90 degrees connected 2 ohm divided by 2 2 2 will get cancelled 2 plus 2 plus 2 resultantly this is 6 ohm now successfully we converted and given star network into an we convert an given star network into an delta network with a given values what is the observation so if the star values are of equal values equal resistance and each value will be scaled by how many times three times you see here this is two two into so this is scaled how many times two into three this is six ohm this is also two into three this is how much six ohm each value will be scaled how many times three times which is nothing but six ohms this is applicable only when we have all branches with equal resistances all branches with equal r the each resistance value is multiplied how many times three times two into three we are going to get six ohms this is what our learning method is now let's try to construct the same construct the second one delta so here what is given to us r one two three that given delta network is like this six ohm six ohm and six ohm so this value is of six ohm this value is also of 6 ohm this value is also 6 ohm now we are performing the, the conversion of delta to star okay. so we are going to perform so i am writing this uh, star in black color one okay. see this i want the star so this black color i require so i am going to mark as one I am going to mark as 2 and I am going to mark as 3. So I want the center elements which are required. So this is what I require. How to find this unknown branch, the black color one? So this black color resistor converts now delta to star. This black color is connected between these two branches. So I have produced two product on those two branches. 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6 plus 6. This is how much? 6, 6 are 36 divided by 18. 18 ones are 18 twos are. So this branch you are going to get is how much? 2 ohms. Similarly, how to find this branch? How to find this branch? Okay. So this branch 
is connected between this this branch is connected between these two sixes how to write down product center no 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6 plus 6 when you perform this you are also going to get how many ohms 2 ohms this is also 2 ohm then how to get this branch see here this black color branch we need to find and this is connected between these two sixes okay so product 6 into 6 divided by 6 plus 6 plus 6 so when you solve it you are going to get it as again 2 ohm so what is the thing you understood while we are converting an delta network into star network given delta values are of equal values delta values are of equal values then each branch value gets divided by 1 by 3 times so what is the center value 6 6 into 1 by 3 3 ones are 3 twos are so what is the resultant resistance you got 2 ohm 2 ohm 2 ohm this formula is applied only when we have equal resistance in all the branches as like 6 6 6 so coming to the conclusion so when you are having a delta to star network when we have equal values of we have equal values r r r then these values are scaled by 1 by 3 times and each branch value is r by 3 each value is r by 3 each value is r by 3 and the reverse will happen in this case will you have an star connection will you have an star connection and we are converting this into an delta connection each value is r r r and this will be multiplied how many times three times so then you are going to get each value as 3 r 3 r 3 r so in the next session we will try to solve some problems on star to delta conversion for finding out equivalent resistance between two branches hope if the video is useful to you please like the video and share the video and subscribe to the channel so thank you everyone for watching the channel yours